G'day, I'm Gary Pike. Lip syncing is, in my opinion, one of the most important parts of 2D animation, of any animation, because if your lip syncing matches your character's voice recording, then it makes your character a lot more believable. As soon as the lip syncing and the dialogue don't match, in my opinion, it takes you straight out of the magic of the animation and it loses all believability. Now you've got two different ways of doing lip syncing with Cartoon Animator. Today, I'm going to cover automatic lip syncing. I don't like automatic lip syncing. It has its place, I just don't like it. Um, if you're doing a dialogue scene, if you're doing a monologue of, a, of an actor talking to camera, don't use automatic lip syncing, particularly if the scene goes on too long. You, you need to have manual lip syncing, which we'll cover later. But for the automatic lip syncing, if you've got a character that's off in the background or just says one quick word or something like that, sure, it's fine. So I'm going to take you through and I'll show you automatic lip syncing. So let's get over to Cartoon Animator and take a look. Okay, so in Cartoon Animator here, I have two characters loaded. On the left, I have Clang, which is my character. On the right, we have one of the characters that comes with Cartoon Animator. The reason that I brought her in is to show you specifically that the template characters for Cartoon Animator have, I think it's 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 mouth sprites. Okay, so you can change all these mouth sprites around. No problem at all. 15 mouth sprites. And they cover all your different biosemes for uh, speech, automatic lip syncing and speech. So when we add uh, dialogue to that character, what's going to happen is Cartoon Animator will select the sprite that it feels best matches to that character. Okay? And the reason that I show you this character is because they have 15 to choose from. So when you do the template character, when you do a template character, you're going to have 15 sprites. But if you want to, you can add all your own sprites, additional sprites. You can add as many as you want. So let's get rid of her and I'll show you what I mean. If you have a look at Clang, and we go to his face and his mouth. Clang has over 50 different mouths for speech and for expressions. So there's plenty to choose from. But the thing is, if you apply automatic lip syncing, then Cartoon Animator is only going to select up to the first 15 sprites. So it doesn't matter how many other visings you've got in there, like I've got for JD and F and M and O and P and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter how many you have in there. Automatic lip syncing is only going to pick from the first 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the result that automatic lip syncing will give you. Okay, so if we have our character there and we've got his face tab open and we've got the voice clip selected, move along to frame 10 just to give us a little bit of, hey, get back to that original sprite. Move along to frame 10 just to give us a little bit of leeway in. Right click, import your audio, and it will automatically play like this. Gary Pye makes great tutorials for cartoon animator. Okay. It's not perfect. It's actually not bad. This, this was not a bad sample at all. Where it does work is, oops, if your character is way off in the distance. If your character's way off in the distance like that and we play it. Gary Pye makes great tutorials for cartoon animator. Now, if that character was moving around, moving his head, walking and talking, and the camera was moving, sure, that might work fine. But when you're up close to a character, let's zoom back in. If you were doing a monologue with a character that was this close to the camera, this is what your speech would look like. Gary Pine makes great tutorials for cartoon animator. Now, that last part there, that was working quite well, but... The first part, it really wasn't hitting it properly. So that's why I think it's really worth your time to learn manual lip syncing. And we're going to cover that in another video. But in the meantime, I hope this one's helped. Thanks for watching. We'll make some more. Have a great day.